But first, right now in central London, Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman are lighting up the red carpet. There they are at a special screening of the highly anticipated Deadpool and Wolverine. It's a story about the two iconic characters teaming up to save Deadpool's world. And while they're in town, there was one place that they just had to visit. Here, the One Show studio. So earlier on, they popped by to have an exclusive chat with Clara Amfo. Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman, welcome to The One Show. Oh, oh. oh. Yeah. wow. Wow. I'm thank so you, Clara. Glad. Thank you, Clara. Thank you so much. Thank you, Clara. Delighted to have you here. I'm a bit like, sh like Clara's our school teacher. Yes. Thank, thank you, you, Clara. You are most welcome. I need to go to the bathroom, Miss yeah. Clara. Um, ooh, 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 oh, I know the answer to this one. No, no you can't go to the bathroom. Oh. Do you know what? I have your hall passes ready, but after the interview, is that OK? Oh, I like that. Oh, OK. Now, before we get into celebrating your film, Deadpool and Wolverine, I know that you guys are both very much into your football. Are you aware of a, you know, a little match that happened last night? So excited. Yeah. I actually turned on uh, about at the 87th minute. Oh. 1-1. And then I got to see that that incredible goal oh, going the sub into it. Coming it was in unbelievable. And just pop, pop. Yeah, I always think that, I always love it when the subs are coming on right there, toward the end of the game. I always think in my head, release the hounds. Now I was lucky enough to watch a Deadpool and Wolverine teaser. Now I know what to expect. It was incredible. But Emma has messaged in asking, uh, what can fans expect without giving too much away? No pressure. I think that movies like this at their at their best are wish fulfillment and they are uh, you know delivery systems of extreme audience delight and joy and that is kind of what we set out to do here but that doesn't mean you can't you know have the undercurrent of being subversive and have all that kind of edge that people expect from uh, these characters in a movie like this but really it's a, it, the bedrock of this thing is about friendship I and love that. and we There's have a lot of humor yeah, that's, well, a lot of, of action that, yeah. and yeah, yeah it is really about friendship at, at its heart and to see him come back and do it in this way, in a, dis, in a, in a, in a different way as mm. well, I can't give too much away there, but uh, has been, I, and I mean it, this is not a joke, been a, the, the literal privilege of a lifetime for me. Um, and I feel like I waited my whole life to do this film with him, and, I, and that dream came true. So I guess after this, I'm uh, out to pasture. Uh, <laughs> pretty much done. By the way, I'll take it back. Shall we have a look at you two in action being fictional friends? If you dare. Shall we get into that? If you dare. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I mean, I love watching you two watch that together. Does it still feel like the first time every time? Always. Yeah, I haven't seen yeah. anything. He won't let me see anything. This no, is the first this thing is I've it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Hugh, um, I need yep. to ask you about what it was like trying to keep a straight face with the dialogue that you guys are working with. Because, <laughs> you know, Wolverine is a, is a very serious character. Logan, right. he's, he's been through a lot. He's seen some things. Oh, uh, yeah. There, by the way, there's some stuff that is cut out of me completely losing it. <laughs> because even though we are scripted, Ryan has always got four or five versions of every scene and I never know exactly what's coming. And he's literally not only one of my best friends, but one of the funniest men on the planet and so brilliant. And I, I just have never had so much fun. Every day I was laughing till I cried. I literally had tears every single day. Having a front row seat to him in this movie for me was just a dream. Honestly, it was like, it was like nothing else and to have that because you're playing with huge iconography i mean mm. the, the wolverine wearing the suit after 24 years of playing right. the character never once wearing a suit until now um all of that was sort of uh, the wish fulfillment on the highest possible level now you mentioned villains earlier um, now in the very first deadpool movie there's all these amazing tropes that you speak about in the opening credits you know a moody teenager a cgi character <laughs> yeah. and a british villain is is essential so ed scrine terrorized you in the right. first movie uh, we have matthew mcfadden mm -hmm. and the brilliant emma corrin, emma corrin. in oh, this and, one yeah. why those two actors to to play bad why are brits so good at being bad for you guys yeah british villains i think are more common because they just seem so eloquent Mm. And, you know, I, I find a little bit easier to empathize with. Uh, but Matthew McFadden, um, I find the way he speaks and his performing to be almost intoxicating. Like, it's one of the greatest things you'll ever see up close. And then Emma is one of the most enigmatic uh, actors, I think, working today. What they do in this movie is, I think, beyond measure uh, an expectation for a villain. It's a deliciousness, I think, about the English. Like, and these yeah. two are so, that they have so much fun doing what they're doing. And I, yeah. I'm just thinking now, Rickman and Die Hard or oh, yeah. Burkhoff yeah. and Beverly Hills Cop, it's, uh, there's a fun in the playing of it and a relishing of it. And Emma and Matthew both relished it. Um, I know you had a lot of downtime uh, during the uh, filming because of that old writer's strike. Mm. Uh, yep. Hugh, I know you got quite familiar with um, a British fave in Cheese. Can we, can we get oh. into that? 
I love cheese. I was on my way to my sister who lives in Windermere and we stopped in Yorkshire and we went into this incredible cheese shop, which apparently I found out is one of the best in the country and we just literally bought everything. Although I'm getting quite obsessed with the cheese rolling competition. Have you seen this? That the is a rolling? thing. Me and sorry, my kids I'm watched that last right night. What, what was, um, <laughs> so You've got sorry. to use the remote. I'll just was go and go and go. I was snoring, wasn't I? I'm so bit. sorry. I sleep with my eyes wide open. Hey. You would um, love this cheese rolling. There's at the top of this crazy <laughs> big hill and they the roll this wheel of cheese and the humans try to keep up On the ground? With it. Yes, down this mess, like a ski slope with no snow. Nobody's riding the cheese. No. They try. It's the oddest. Correct. Thing. I just want to love it. I was given, a, was given a one of those um, massive parm Parmesan uh, yes. things. Wheels. Where the, where yeah, you wheels. It's yes. like that. It was like that, but, but it, it was like a curse. You're like, what do we do with this? Right. Like, Blake and I were trying to figure out what to do with this, so we just kept giving it to other people who would then give it to someone else. <laughs> it's a gift that keeps on giving, truly. Oh, the no, it's a wrong. curse. You can call it a curse. I am just so fascinated by what's happening right now. Guys, can I pause you to ask you one quick question? Yes. Are you up for sticking around to answer more questions from our wonderful viewers who are obsessed with seeing this new movie? Yes, I am. Clara, but can I go to the bathroom? Yes. Absolutely. You have permission. OK. Thank you, Miss Clara. <laughs> You're most welcome. <laughs> Oh, very lucky there. And we'll see more of that interview later in the show when we find out Ryan's secret for staying calm before a big Wrexham football match. Mm. Oh, oh. It is unbelievable what Gemma's managed to achieve there, isn't it? And if you've got somebody that you would like to thank, perhaps it's somebody that you've lost touch with, then please do get in touch. One big thank you at bbc.co.uk. Yeah, now it's time to return to the Marvel Cinematic Universe to talk about one of the most anticipated blockbusters this summer, Deadpool and Wolverine. Uh, yes, earlier today, two of its biggest stars, Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman, were right here in the One Show studio with Clara answering some of your burning questions. Guys, we've had so many questions from our viewers who've got in touch with you both. So first up, uh, Kennedy asks, what was the most fun day you spent on set together? There's a fight in the um, in, oh. in the void area where we are, where, where Deadpool and Wolverine just go at each mm. other, these long one, sh one or shots. And Hugh is, was, I've never seen anything quite like that. This man did every single frame of that himself. And it was the, the first time I've genuinely appreciated uh, how dance has this surprising amount of overlap into action movies because he would look at choreography once and it was like a computer went doo -doo 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 -doo, got it made like six different changes and then went out there and just did it all right before your very eyes mm -hmm. at speed and it was one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life him doing every single one of those stunts flipping jumping grabbing snatching slashing I mean just that uh, the sheer audacity of that fight and the fact that he did it all was, was to me, was one of the most special days. Just goes to show Broadway lends to the MCU, right? It does, yeah. right? You know? Who knew? See what he does? Uh, See that? What's my favourite? He turns it into a complimenting. Yeah. Thing. Lure you in, give you a false sense of security. Because you love, because you love each other. Yeah. 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 And one of my favourite days was when I was, no. <laughs> <laughs> was learning this choreography. Yeah. No. <laughs> Ryan, you are the proud co-owner of Wrexham FC and Carmela's asked, what do you do these days to calm your nerves before a big game? You know, as oh, I, my, yeah. my coping mechanisms as I've gotten older have, have surprisingly not, not great. Pacing. <laughs> is a lot. I, I did one time, I, I checked how many steps I got oh, during really? a match, yeah. and it was like nine and a half thousand steps. It is true. <laughs> I've, watched games, I've watched games at Ryan's house, and he paces the whole time. Oh, it's like true. a cage tiger. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, I live, breathe, sleep, and eat Wrexham. Um, and, you know, the, the only thing that can derail me from that is Deadpool, because Deadpool just swallows your whole life, and that's the only way to do it, is to just let it consume you. Uh, so I'm so happy to be back now. Uh, and, and, you know, full-time on, on Wrexham. A lot of Wrexham chat for you, Ryan. Um, Hugh, it would be remiss of me not to talk about your beloved yellow and green Norwich FC. Someone has asked, why Norwich? My mum's born and bred. Right. And lives in Norwich. So when I grew up in Australia, my parents immigrated. I remember being about seven and saying to my parents, I want to find a team. Dad, where are you from? He goes, I'm from London. I said, well, what's the team? And he was like, well, there's five teams. I'm like, yeah. Mum, where are you from? She goes, Norwich. I said, team. yes, Norwich. So I picked Norwich. The yeah. Canaries. We haven't won a lot. We won the Milk Cup. Hey, that's something. It's not even called the Milk Cup anymore. But hey, it's OK. I'm, I'm here oh for the God. long game. Let's go back to the cheese story. <laughs> 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 and on that beautiful note, Ryan and Hugh, thank you so very much for joining us. We wish you the very best with the film. Uh, Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman, everyone. <laughs>
Sarah did so well to keep that on track, yes. didn't she? They were brilliant, though. Thank you so much to Ryan and Hugh. And you can watch Deadpool and Wolverine in cinemas from Thursday the 25th of July. Yeah.